It is the final battle against the Symmetric Skarnaho, and it brings us back to the basics of war. It's us versus them, and the last army standing wins. Our main camp rests close to theirs. You, Gahanaho, are our finest warrior. We entrust you with guiding us to victory against these slugs. Destroy them. Destroy their buildings. Destroy their homes. Leave no trace upon this earth of their foul presence. Only then may we be at peace. Gahana home, water is the basis of life, and we have been separated from our water supply. Bugger! Watch your language. It is the cruel robots devoid of life who stand between us and our water. Shit! Language! They have severed our water supply by blocking our river with a huge dam. Dam! We need a forked attack on the two machinoid camps that guard the dam. Set up another camp and use the combined forces to destroy the soulless abominations. Abominations! Right, that's it! Some peace at last, but on with the mission. Our people set up a camp in a dead city to uproot a base of soulless ones, but they were too many and crippled us. Our people are short on earth blood and time. Travel with a train of earth blood carriers, protect them, fix the camp, and fix the enemy. What? What? You, I missed one. You witch, there goes your ear. Oh, I hate uh, you. Gahanaho. We are having technical problems. Hopefully you will have none. We're also having a robot trouble as well. Those damn machines are getting cocky. They think they can take the sea from us too. They've taken control of an important archipelago. Take back those islands and take those pesky machines apart. Kahanaho, you're one of our finest warriors, but we've yet to test your command of the air, and we feel that now you are ready. And also, those damn robots are bombing the crap out of us. Their base is in the north. Destroy it. Build up your own aerial force, but don't skimp on the ground forces. And just a note, metal brains confuse easily. Try setting a decoy to draw their fire. Fly, Gahanaho. Gahanaho, darkness descends. Those bots took our tower! The big one! Hush! Our holy tower of the setting sun has fallen. They've turned the tower into a drill ring. I used to play on that when I was a kid and she was sleeping. Sacrilege. Now shut up. And they're sucking bucket loads of our oil. Earth blood. Shut up. Build a camp. Grab reinforcements from the eastern island and destroy everything that's anywhere near that tower. Oh, you are so annoying. Ah, bite me. Our war with the soulless ones is near its end. Time to kick some metal! But it won't be easy. They're desperate to end our lives. I don't give up! For crying out loud, Gahanaho, the soulless ones must be destroyed. Their camp and themselves. Beat them up the air! Assemble a huge attack party and destroy them. Final victory will be ours! Bugger! Ooh! Unit 21. Our conversion from agriculture to military is almost complete and in time to test against the newly discovered subterranean humans. 
the nukes of their ancestors destroyed our crops and our livelihood. All humans will pay. Here's a chance to exact that payment. Guide a response bot back to our base through an old area of ours. Use our old repair bays, destroy all humans. They are many, but you are big. You do the math. Welcome, Unit 21. Our farming heritage is wasted and we have found humans who dare to dwell on the graves of our crops. Humans nuked our fields and our reason for existing. Punishment is due. The surface dwellers beg for this punishment. They currently attack our oil refinery in the northeast. Build up our southwest base to protect it. Destroy the bridges to minimize enemy attack routes and distract the enemy from our refineries. Then destroy them all. Some groups just don't get along. The nuclear hailstorm of 2079 left only a few creatures alive. Some hid safe underground and formed the survivor army. They fought the surface mutants, the evolved, 40 years later. Most fought bravely. Those from both armies who cowered and ran survived. The splinter groups disappeared for nigh on 40 years. And then, in 2179, 100 years since the first great nuclear war, they found each other. there was another group who survived the Great Nuclear War. The Series 9 had advanced from their farming origins. Since humans had laid waste their crops, laid waste their reason for existing, revenge was inevitable. No, some groups just don't get along. As much as we country folk despise the city, we must venture into one to harm the enemy. The ugly ones use inner city roads to transport oil. Our strategy computers were excited by this. Something about sitting ducks. Cripple the enemy by destroying their tankers, then kick them while they're down and annihilate them. Begin. Unit 21, what's your problem? 
Oh, you don't have a problem. Well, you're the only one. I'm up to my hard disk capacity in robot problems. I hear the war's still going on. And I've got a mission for you here somewhere. Ah, here we go. The enemy's got a big base. Blow it up and kill everyone. Have you got that? Yes, well, I'll tell you, some of the other robots could even screw that up. OK, Unit 21. They've sent another mission for me to give you. A good thing I'm not busy, right? Hmm. Anyway, a goon squad may have found a new, richer strain of oil. And who do you reckon they'll get to test it? Oh, I don't know why I keep this job. Anyway, they've loaded a tanker with this oil. Protect it as you guide it home. They need the oil. And I'm sick of fixing the damn tanker. Now get out! The frightened little rabbits emerge from their warrens to live on the graves of our crops. We like this. It makes the filthy humans easier to kill. The defenders fear open spaces, however, so they huddle in caves awaiting us. They must like playing hide-and-go-seek. We prefer the other game, hide and get shot to death by angry farm robots. Go teach them the new rules. The other computers have contracted a virus. I've been put online in the meantime. We have control of an island, but humans have taken all the other islands, and this just won't do. Take them back, then remove the humans from their main camp. You will need to use transport pods. I would like to open the pod bay doors myself, but I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. You are in command. Give them hell. Unit 21. Our sensors indicate that a festering cesspool of subterranean subclasses has occupied an island. These humans don't realize that they are obstructing our plan to kill all humans. Remind them. A team of microbots are already in the area. Get them to pinpoint the island's location. Then we will send some more appropriate units from the north. Debug the whole area. Unit 21. We started off as farming robots, and when we clear all the humans, we can lay down our guns and return to our farms. But for now, let's make some fertilizer. All the remaining worms have emerged from the ground. It's time to put them back underground, six feet underground. Find their final camp and have a good old-fashioned cookout. I want nothing left on the land but nature and us. Logging off. The ugly humans think they're clever. They formed a type of rock wagon train using natural defensive formations. They have an army in the center of this, reproducing in disgusting ways, and another army protecting the entry point. Take the outer camp offline, steal their oil, then work your way in to the cowards. He who lives by the sword shall die by the sword, but anyone who lives anywhere near us will get the crap blown out of them. That's Poetry Unit 21. Dismissed. Do you think anything more could go wrong? Now, on top of machines going offline everywhere because they insist on installing their own software, we've got major enemy trouble. They're amassing a huge force and aiming it right at our base. Oh, don't they know I'm busy? Secure the base and get some aerial units to cause some trouble and stop bothering me. I've got too much to do. Oil. It's the last thing I can be bothered thinking about, but it's apparently important. And we're running out of it. A new problem with all the other robots. How unusual. You've got to relocate our base to Oil Heaven up north. The freaky jungle boys want it as well, and may know this tricky territory better than you. So, kill them for being smart asses, And don't hurry back. Welcome to the new element of the new war, Gahanaho. You are aware that the worms have returned, but you may not know of the new soulless enemy. The Heavenly Scourge has sent machinery to test us. Even now, these machines harass one of our small villages. We are yet to organize our large attack parties. 
Take a small group of skilled warriors, protect the village, then pull the robot camp from the ground like a weed. This war is a test we will pass. So, I've got all these new robots to load up with software, and the damn CPU tells me to deal with a new problem, getting attacked by the enemy. Oh yes, I've got time. <laughs> The human uglies have got one little base which is a big pain in the parallel port, and their bigger camp isn't much better. You've got to delete them both. Lucky for you, you've got a friendly camp up north. Use it. I want this problem gone, and I don't care how. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it, but I will give you the chance, since I'm feeling much better now. Our air units are trying to destroy an enemy base, but the enemy has ground-to-air troops hidden everywhere. Our failure must be attributed to human error. Send microbots to disconnect the enemy, and then disconnect their camp. Daisy Thank God the war's nearly over, and I'll be able to take some time off. Wars can be a pain. Anyway, it's time to take out the ugly ones. They have been stomping across our land and damaging our equipment for far too long. And that jacks me off. We found the last of them, and you should make sure that it really is the last of them. Put the whole race offline. System shutdown. Yes? Okay, Commander, here is the situation. Forty years ago, the Survivor Army fought the Freaks. We, the new Survivors, left early to, to prepare cavalry. It took longer than we thought, and over the forty years, it became Freak City up there again, and it should be ours. We built a surface base. The Freak has nearly trashed it. You will have to direct the small nearby platoon to fix it up and then build up enough resources to trash the Freaker camp. Let them know we are back and that we want it all again. I don't get it, Commander. You leave one war to rebuild some cavalry, you wait 40 years, and then you find a bunch of damn farming robots want you off the surface, too. So we wiped out their crops with Nukefest 2079, so what? Anyway, the Hickbots are reinforcing a base with, you know, reinforcements. Make a mess of their little camp, then get your own happening to clean up. You know, we used to control these agricultural robots. Let us punish some insubordination. Hey, Commander, I've been busy, and I invented a new vehicle, which I call the Hanks Hover Buggy. It'll go over land, it'll go over water, but if it goes over a cliff, you'll be paying for it, pal. You'll have to take some buggies up a river for this mission. The Hickbots have holed up one of our camps. We want to get an offensive force up top, then come at the rednecks from two sides. I'm supplying the vehicles. You work out the finer points. Okay, Commander, I'm building a new vehicle, the Hanks Aerial Transport. You'll need it for this mission. You see, this dopey scout has details of an important battle, but he's got himself caught by the freaks. 
He's still online. Direct him to a safe mini camp in the northeast where he should raise the alarm to a bigger camp down south. Get some protection to him and take out all the anti-aircraft defenses. We'll send a transport to fetch him when it's safe. He's too important to be running around too much on foot, and he's stupid. Commander, the freaks have found some turf they really like, so of course we want it. Their main camp is thick with defenses, but they've left their oil rigs fairly open on the outskirts. That's how we'll get them. Use the mobile outpost to start a second camp to maximize your time. Build up and stifle the freakers' growth before they get too cocky. And last one to the middle is a rotten egg. Or a dead commander. Dismissed. I love surprises, Commander. I hope you do too, because this mission is full of them. First up, there's a tech bunker out there that we believe holds a great old weapon. We sent technicians to open the bunker, but they went offline. So you have to find them, just like Easter, only in a war zone. A nearby camp's holding off the farm bots. Not to pressure you, Commander, but if there's nothing in that bunker, we're screwed. I love surprises. <laughs> Kahanaho, the centenary is upon us, 100 years since the Scourge ravaged our world, and the gods test us again by sending their filthy symmetrics back to steal our land. They have set up a camp in one of our weaker ones. Scout the area for a new campsite and build a second camp. Reinforcements will be sent when we can spare them. Keep both clan halls alive or the mission is lost. Celebrate our centenary, Kahanaho, by cleansing the land of symmetric abominations. Okay, Commander. Our scouts have uncovered a freaker installation that we feel shouldn't really be there. Or anywhere. Nuke it. This mission is so important that we're willing to use the illustrious Kamikaze Death Squad. There's also the fact that the squad are the only units currently in that area. Use them well. They're willing to lay down their lives for the cause. And also anyone else's lives which happen to be nearby when their bombs go off. Ha <laughs> I do love the kaboom! Hey, I found a good way to annoy the Freakers. Kidnapped two of their leaders. We got some locked up north in a temporary holding facility. But the Freaks will want them back soon. So we need to get them moved to a more secure camp over east. Two things to note. You need at least one chopper to move the leaders. You run out of choppers, you'll fail the mission, and you upset me. And two, there's no oil. Use the resources we give you now, and use them well. We found a big bunch of sponge heads all curled up in a place we're calling the Valley of the Freaks. And because they're getting in the way of our world domination plans, we attacked them twice. But damn their freaking hides, they're defended big time and our attacks aren't working. We might be attacking from the wrong direction. Take another group out, join the previous groups, then set up camp and find yourself a way to clean up the valley and de-freak it. This is it, Commander. Time to show those stinking freaks of nature who's boss. Oh, but they'll only see who's boss for a short time, understand? Because after that, they'll be dead. We've run them back to their base camp, and it's there they'll perish. It's a straight stand and fight, just how it should be. Build up an enormous force and then hurl it at them. I want a freakless land by sundown. And I want the surface to be ours. Forever. Get on it. Okay, so what we got out there are several bunkers just ripe for the picking. What we also got is a bot camp nearby and lots of the little buggers patrolling the area. But what we also, also got is a plan we're sure will work. We're sending just one tiny team into the area in the hope that it can get past the defenses, wake up the units in the tech bunkers, and then wipe out the bot camp. And hey, <laughs> good luck. I'm fretting real bad. Those damn robots have got in between me and my oil tankers. That's something you should never do. I want my trucks, Commander. They're on the other side of a defended mountain pass. There's a small infantry unit protecting my flock, but they won't last long. 
Well, sure, the camp needs the oil retrieved and unloaded pronto, but we, I need those trucks back. Bring my boys back home. Ahoy, Commander. <whistles> it's boating time. The enemy has set up a base o'er the briny sea. They've got nice air, an ocean view, and all the other things that dang farming robots shouldn't have. We want them out of their arm principle. We've got an abandoned base on an island nearby. Over here, we have a few aquatic units. Get them to the base safely, patch it up, then grab resources and build up a force. Get those filthy machines off the beach! That is all. The enemy's got a pretty decent hold on the area, and we want to break their grip. We've assigned aircraft to you. They're in the northwest. But the area is far too hairy for them, so they're not budging. They'll need proof that the area is safe. If you can get one of your units to them, then they'll take that as a sign. They'll listen to your flying orders. Blast your way to the plains, then find the enemy base and toast it. That is all. Okay, Commander. Now, I love technology and clever engineering as much as the next grease jockey. But if there's one thing I can't stand, it's smart-ass little robots who think they're clever than us. So they gotta go. We've traced those infernal machines to their base camp. Be like shooting fish in a bucket. It's a simple concept. Build your camp and wipe theirs and every trace of them. I like things simple. Go to it, Commander, and good luck. Our soil is being tainted by the metal soles of robotic feet. The machines hold an area of our land that we want back. Unfortunately, they are abominable, but also dangerous. They guard the area with weapons as large as their worth is small. To show our defiance of these monstrosities, we will destroy their largest weapon with our smallest, the martyrs, who are willing to give their lives to the cause. When they succeed, wipe the robot's shamed presence from the area. Ah, welcome, Gahanaho. I sense unrest in the spirits. I haven't slept a wink. Shut up. They are uneasy because the symmetric steel earth blood. We need it for ourselves, for the magic that produces our animals. Oh, so it's okay for us to use it. Shut up. We need it to save the planet. Gahanaho, our earth blood transports travel to this site. Protect them and retrieve that which is ours. And punish the worms as well. Which freak? The gods test us, Gahanaho, threatening to rain down another fearsome scourge to further scour the land, bringing much death if we fail. Or maybe not, but we can't take the chance. The worms have a detention center where they detain our finest warriors. But the gods have ensured that to rescue them, we must fight through a maze like the ancient Grux and the Matador. Take a small party, free our people, then wait for us to collect them. Gahanaho, the Symmetrics surprised me. They have devised something interesting. It is a new type of fortification that fascinates us. If not to build, then at least to understand and ridicule. The plans are stored in a crude alchemy lab. While our other camp engages theirs, Sneaker guarded Mechanic Inn to steal these plans. 
Once this is achieved, there will be no need for subtlety. Set up a camp and noisily destroy all the worms for thinking they're clever. Witchy sleeps. No stinky breath this time. Okay, one of our camps is copping aerial harassment. She'd call them winged steel birds, but we'll just call them planes, all right? Hold them off, build a big force, then wipe them out at the source. Oh, sorry, I meant weed the heathen creations from the earth, mother! Oh, what? Oh. <gasps> you didn't tell Gahanaho about my breath, did you? The technical problems plague us again, Gahanaho. Maybe the gods test us, or maybe we use crap technology. Let's move on. We've got the usual odds. A small party of our creatures against a larger enemy party. But our creatures are fast, and the enemy are drooling idiots. Repair a rundown camp you'll find in a canyon. Use all you have to lure the enemy into an ambush. Kill them too.